In the last video, we got all the peripherals to work. So what we'll do now before we move on is we'll uh, do some cleanup here. So we'll start by uh, giving this a better name, pixel pin, because we don't know what the pin is otherwise. And then if you remember down here, we grabbed some sample code and it just had the pin numbers here, or we wrote this code and grab the sample code here. So what we'll do is we'll we'll give those names like we have up here. So we'll just add right here. And we'll call it uh, a piezo low pin, like that. And that will be pin two. And then we'll just copy that. And then make the next one toggle pin. So it's the one that's uh, going to be oscillating to drive the frequency. So now let's go take those names and put them here. So that's the low pin. And then the toggle pin is right here. And we'll change that to toggle. So now let's uh, try that and make sure it still works. Okay, so now let's uh, try it out. And as you can see, it's still, still operating. So here's a challenge for you. Can you figure out what the resonant frequency of the piezo is? So that would be the loudest frequency, loudest sound that's coming out. Uh, and as you notice, when you twist the knob, it does vary in volume as well as pitch. So how do you know what that frequency is? And I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's very easy to determine that by printing what the frequency is. You can do that down here with a serial message. So uh, try to do that and we'll uh, cover that in the next lecture.